It's now time for Me and My Roku with host Peter Clay. Fox blackout leads to Trump meltdown. So I told my guy Peter. So we have a voicemail now from Peter. Pete, you are not. (laughs) This is what it's all about, isn't it? (laughs) Oh, oh, wow. Oh, boy. Well, hello again, everybody. And welcome to another fantastic, fabulous, spectacular, stupilicious edition of me and my Roku as I just make up words. I'm your host, Peter Clay. Welcome aboard, as I like to say. Uh, This is the program where me, uh, Peter Clay, shows you or anyone who's listening to this fabulous podcast. I just show you what I do with my Roku, and hopefully that spawns spurs ideas in anyone else then to do what they want with their Roku streaming device or cord cutting materials or anything like that. Just letting you know that I'm out there getting after it, doing it, and you can too if you want, or maybe you are, and just like, what else can I do? Well, oh, this idiot's doing it, so I can. So you're not the idiot. I am. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, plenty of things going on. New software for Roku's coming up soon, and channels coming, going, staying, leaving, coming back again, then going again, and all that good stuff. It's all out war out there. So plenty of stuff to get to. So let's get started. Ooh, hey, yeah. Okay. So until we get to the real fun stuff, uh, let me remind you, I brought this up a little bit on the last program, uh, that there's going to be updates to Roku. You really don't have to do anything unless you want new hardware, because those will be coming out before Black Friday and all that good stuff. All the good holiday season comes up as we are now in the golden quarter as the time of this recording. And then also uh, the software, though. But say you have a uh, Roku already, they will be upgrading to 9.2 something. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so lots of that's going to be coming out incrementally. So maybe one of your newer devices will get. So according to Cord Cutting News, they have a list of... Uh, Roku's that are no longer supported and then the ones that are that will begin the update. So here's the long and the short of it. My Roku's are fine. So typically that's all I really care about. So I could say just go find out on your own. But the Cord Cutting News has a list. Just look at the bottom of your Roku and you'll see the model number on there and compare it to that list or the Roku support blog also has it on there as well. So you can look there. Now, what I noticed then is that really only the real legacy Rokus, like the very first Roku, like when you look at the picture of this podcast, you see my face and I'm holding up a Roku. That is an original Roku XD. That is a legacy model. That is no longer upgradable so it's officially dead shed a little tear it's okay it's not really dead it's useless anyway it only holds about five channels now anyway because it doesn't have the memory capacity so but my roku lt my roku 3 and my roku ultra all good and even my brother-in-law who knows just about enough about the roku to be dangerous his roku too that's even upgradable so it's really the only really old uh, rokus there so just do an update every day and just check to see if, you, if you've got it yet or not, or do a restart once a week, and eventually you'll get it. Uh, and that's good for you because it'll also refresh your channels and all that stuff if they have updates. So be on the lookout, and then don't freak out when you get an upgrade because things might look just a little different when it's all done. That I've heard good things, bad things, uh, weird and indifferent things about it. So it's going to be mostly good. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see as we all enjoy our updates when we get them on our Rokus. It's all right. All righty then. So you've been researching cable alternative apps for your Roku. You're like, oh, what should I do? Okay. You've done the research. You've done the free trials and you you've done it. You've had enough of it. You've made a decision. Darn it all. You're going with sling TV because you want Fox sports and you want the NFL and you want red zone and you want and the NFL network and you want all that and big 10 network and all that good stuff. So you've made the decision. You're going through it. You've processed it. You're going through and then you get ready for Thursday night football. You get down, you got the remote ready. You got sh- your beverages ready. You're all ready to go and then oh look at that 
So Dish Network and Sling TV had a little disagreement with Fox, and they pulled all of their programming off of Dish Network and Sling TV. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So since that hasn't happened to me, and that's, there's a lot of things been going on, so this stuff's going to be going on night and day, week after week, and you're going to hear about a lot of stuff, and typically these things don't last more than a couple of days. Now, if I was really on the ball here, I did some research to see if it's still going on or not, but I haven't checked that. My understanding is that there's been an agreement. Uh, PlayStation View, this happens all the time. You get rumors that HBO and NBA TV are going away, and you're kind of like, good. Uh, but then at the last second, oh, everything's fine. So uh, for me personally, if I had put in my money on there, and then all of a sudden the reason why I went with that goes away, yeah, that's kind of a kind of a tough pill to swallow there. So, like I say, typically these things are temporary, and they come back. Uh, I haven't. I have not seen anything that has said, nope, that's it. We're making a stance and we're going away for good now. So I would, this is the only time I'm going to suggest this type of scenario here is like make up a, an email address and use a different credit card and use a free trial of something else that has exactly what you're looking for there. I think in that particular scenario, I think the only other op option is PlayStation View. But, uh, or who, maybe uh, I'm Ron Burgundy. Um, but anyway, so, but don't do that just to get free trials all the time. It's, you end up getting confused and all that stuff. And you may end up getting charged on something. So just, but in this temporary scenario, if there's shenanigans going on between carriers and providers, uh, you have my permission to use that strategy. Now on the good side, uh, PlayStation view then not without any warnings or anything like that saying, Oh, this is going to go away. Uh, all of a sudden PlayStation view and Disney, uh, have a, a big group hug and say, yeah, we're all good for years to come now. Now you'd say, Oh, Disney, no, that's no big deal. Well, that's everything though. Disney is ABC is ESPN is FX is national geographic. There's a lot of, not to mention all the Disney channels and free form and all that other good stuff too. So everything is all good to go there. That HBO NBA TV thing, that's all good to go too. So like I say, these things, you're going to hear a lot of things. Some of it is mostly just noise until you go to your app and go that it's not there, but Hey, you know, there's other things to watch then as well. Then you'll be fine. So just remember, this is part of the growing pains of this process that we're in, in the streaming wonderful world that we're in. Enjoying our Roku's. All right, kids. Uh, time once again to come all around. Group time. We get together here and we say thank you. To archive.org, the provider of the bandwidth of this podcast and all the podcasts I've done since uh, late to, to aughts, um, as it goes. So the Internet Archive is a resource available to everybody. Now, they're doing their own thing, like preserving the Internet and scraping everything and making sure that everything's all available out there. But then you, the listener, can go there and get audiobooks, podcasts, movies, TV shows, um, all that that's available to you. Just like as if it was a library, all there for you as a resource, searchable and all right for you. All they need is just a little support every now and then. Now, some of it's just a hug and just to let people know that it's there and all that stuff. But... If you have some spare change lying around in your PayPal or Venmo or something like that, uh, maybe consider spreading that along to the Internet Archive and help all the projects that they've got going on. They're preserving 78 records, old arcade games, and other projects all along the way. So from a heartfelt thanks from me uh, to all of you out there, consider supporting archive.org. La, 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 la. Alrighty then, how about some news and notes? We always love that. And you know, I love this. Here's a new report, survey. 74% of U.S. homes, that's the United States folks, all of them, 70% of all homes have a subscription video demand service. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, something along those lines. Up 64% from uh, 2019. 
2017 and 52% from 2015. That's starting to be a trend, folks. Um, okay. So, I mean, I have been doing some testing on this stuff, too. I talked to some friends of mine who haven't cut the cord, but I asked them, do they still have Netflix or Hulu or something like that? And they say, yes, they do. Mostly Netflix, but some people do have Amazon Prime. Some people still, to this day, have Amazon Prime and don't even know that they get other stuff with that. And that's what I also try and say to those cord stayers. You can still get a Roku, even though you have cable TV, because you still get... I, I get excited when I talk about my roku and all that stuff and i bought my microphone but that's okay uh you can still get a roku still get all the video on demand services the advertising ones roku channel pluto tv all that stuff all that stuff you're still getting because you're paying all this money a lot of it so might as well get those extra things as well with your roku not just what's on cable tv also in the news itv is upping their deal with film rise so to allow their program to stay on that platform. Uh, so that means now all the seasons, not just the first few seasons of Hell's Kitchen, uh, but all of them will be available through Film Rise and also Kitchen Nightmares. So all the Gordon Ramsay stuff. But uh, different ITV programming then is also going to be available now uh, to Film Rise. Now, does that mean you should get rid of Pluto TV and the Roku channel and all that stuff and get, just get Film Rise? Probably not. Probably all these things are going to be available through all those things as well as they are now. But just knowing that FilmRise is the broker of this deal and is probably getting the ad revenue on that stuff. So something to consider on that. But just knowing you're going to get more free programming through FilmRise uh, from ITV if you're into that stuff. Uh, so comings and goings. Uh, Nothing really left. I kept everything from last week. So it did, although we didn't watch any more Maury, we still have the Nosy app. I didn't get rid of it yet because you never know when I'm going to need that fixed. Need to know if I'm going to be the father or not or uh, who took a lie detector test, if that was a lie or not. Uh, also coming, something interesting is going on, and i do not not really quite sure I uh, should discuss this in public, but then it's maybe kind of a test to see if anyone's listening or not. Um. The uh, a and &E Network, I added that, and the History Channel. Now, what's happening is the Roku is signing me in with a cable provider. And so I'm getting all the programming. That's all. Now, I'm not sure if this is a mistake or if this is something that actually the A&E &E Network's provider wants on these things because they get to still show the commercials in. I would be hoping what I want. But I, I don't know. So I don't know if there's a flaw in the Roku that's saying, ha, just sign them up for that. Or if it's a flaw within the network and they're just kind of leaving a back door open or something like that. I know some of you are probably saying, shut up. Uh, but again, this is just test to see if anyone's listening out there and see if this is actually how we want things to go on these authentication channels or not. So anyway, that's the comings and goings and the news of notes of me and my Roku. Uh Okay, kids, I have a little bonus section for you today. Special treat. Why not? You've earned it. Because a couple things came up, uh, and I just wanted to throw this at you. This is a bonus. You don't have to listen to it if you don't want to, but hey, I'm speaking to you here, and you just love my sultry tones as it is. Uh, so extra credit. Think of it that way. So I'm not going to test you on it, but I'm going to throw this out here for you. as a little bonus thing. I'm going to throw a Roku component in there because... In order to get my, the stuff that I want to watch on Roku, I got to do all these different things. I get gift cards and points and all this different stuff. So I got uh, an offer for uh, some points and then get a 30-day trial of Tidal, the music service. And I'm like, why not? 30 days, why not? I've got other things going on right now, but throw it on there. Give it to me and I'll take the points then after the 30 days. It's all good. And I listen to it and it's fine. It's like all the other music streaming services and all that stuff. Then the very next day, that darn thing I've got for my phone, this T-Mobile Tuesday says, how would you like three free months of Pandora premium? I'm like, oh, I, you got to take it, don't you? Because you've already done the work. You pay your bill every month and all that stuff. You want to get something for what you pay for, right? So you, so I got streaming services. So that led me to ask the question out there a segment for me and my roku then is like what 
streaming service do you use out there? And then which ones then can you use then through your Roku and other things? I've talked about this on the show before. So to me, there's been nothing more territorial than when, when this first started than Netflix, Hulu, and everyone would dig into their camps. It's like, I'm on the Netflix side. I'm on the Hulu side. You suck. You suck. Ah, uh, boo. And it's realized that they're all good. PlayStation View, Sling, they're all good. And now the music streaming services. They all want your time. They all want your thing. So now I went through and we got all this stuff and found nine music services that are available to me right now. <laughs> so they are Apple Music, Google Play Music, Sirius XM, YouTube Music, Pandora, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Spotify, and Tidal. And other than Apple Music and YouTube Music, uh, all of those are available on the Roku. So no matter what music service you've got going there. Now, like I said, I can go in there and critique every single one of them. I'm just going to go through and tell you right now, they're all good. They all basically have the same music available to them. Just kind of like the uh, add-on, the advertising video on demand, uh, like Film Rise, Roku Channel, all those. They basically are coming from the same soup. And then just what ingredients do you throw on there? Sometimes you get little exclusives on that. Some will let you do this with your playlist. Some let you do that type of thing. So there's no need to go to feel out of whack if someone says, I've got Spotify. I'm better than you are. Oh, yeah, well, I got Google Play Music. Uh -huh. Now, the only trick on this now is, is it seems like uh, Google is phasing out Google Play Music. And the only real difference between that and YouTube Music is Google Play lets you upload your physical CDs. You still have those, right? Uh, like up to 50,000 tracks. And that's a lot of music and that's a lot of storage. So hopefully they're going to incorporate everything. I understand the brand and they want to get that YouTube in there. They feel that that means more than Google Play does. But uh, anyway, so now Tidal just became available on the Roku. So if you are already a Tidal listener or you're thinking about it, there's a 30 day free trial and you can try it right there on your Roku. And like I said, only Apple Music and Google Play Music, um, so, uh, Google Play Music and YouTube Music are not on there. YouTube, obviously. Sirius XM, having a little troubles with that on Roku right now. Uh, but sneaky, kind of good is the iHeartRadio. Now, I got I had that app on there to get my podcast, me and my Roku. Maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you're listening to it. Um, but they have some sneaky, because what they do is if you ever heard of HD radio, Mostly in the cars. So if you're got the, if you're renting a car or something like that, and you see HD radio on there, try them out. Uh, the iHeart Media stations have sub channels, just like on your TV. They have they have those channel three one and channel three two. Same thing on your radio dial. So sneaky good things. Some classical, some yacht rock music, and classic rock and coffee house rock and all that stuff. So some good things to listen to if you just need to numb your brain for a little while on that. So I thought I'd throw that out there because I was noticing on there, these are all out there for the man. And there's really not much difference between all of them except for different little things here and there. And so I can't differentiate one from the other. Kind of wondering what you think about that. But uh, for me, nine different <laughs> music stations that are available to me and half of them also available on my Roku. Oh, it's a good time to get be in control of your media, whether it be on your Roku or now on your device for your music as well then. So I hope you're enjoying that and stuff. I hope you're enjoying this program. Uh, I got to get out there. I got to get back to my Roku. My wife just came home. She hasn't been feeling well. Uh, I don't know what she's going to do with that Roku remote. So I got to get down there and make sure, you know, nothing crazy is going on there. So special thanks to archive.org for their support. Thank them so much. Check them out today and maybe uh, throw some of your support their way. They would love it. Uh, subscribe to the Me and My Roku podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, TuneIn, YouTube, iHeartMedia, and Radio.com. Follow me on Twitter at Radio Affliction. Send me something along there and say hi. How you doing? Lo love the podcast. And I may reply. For questions, comments, the old-fashioned way, just email me at me and my Roku podcast at gmail.com. Hope you enjoy the program. I'll check in with you real soon. <laughs> <laughs>